The 2021 Ford Edge Titanium. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find some of the best complete guide walk-around videos on our different Ford vehicles, specific to the model and even the trim. So just like with this one, we're going to talk only about the Titanium trim. We're going to cover the standard equipment first. We're going to talk about the different optional package you can get and standalone options all in one video. So if you're out there researching your Ford Edge, wondering if the Titanium trim is going to be what you're wanting, Stay tuned, this is a video for you. We're gonna check this one out. Also, we've done a video on the SEL already. Uh, so the SEL and titanium trims are the two that we've gotten in uh, stock so far. So uh, we'll uh, have, this is the second video for the Edge. Uh, as we get the others, uh, the SE, the ST line, uh, as well as the ST, we'll be doing videos on them in the future. So uh, be looking for those. And if you haven't, if you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified the next time another video uploads to our YouTube channel. Also, uh, keep in mind if this, uh, if you are after watching this video, maybe you uh, decide you want to get a vehicle from Law MacArthur. We do free shipping, so even if you live outside of the state of Kansas, we can ship the vehicle to you for free. We'll have more information about that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Talk about some of the standard equipment first. We'll start with some mechanical features uh, that you might want to think about and consider on the Ford Edge Titanium. Now, the, all of the edges will come with a 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine, including the titanium trim here. Also, will come with the eight-speed automatic transmission that shifts really efficiently with that transmission. Does have the auto start-stop technology, so uh, what it means is uh, when you come to stoplight, stop sign, it shuts the vehicle off, you let go of the brake, it's gonna turn it right back on. If that's something you wanna deactivate, you can for each engine cycle just by pressing the A with the circle there around it, right there in front of the console. Uh, so right there where that armrest is, pretty, pretty much where you're gonna put your hand right there, you can deactivate it real easily that way. Also, uh, these will come standard in the front wheel drive, but you can get optional all wheel drive. And if you do go with the all wheel drive, you'll get the intelligent all wheel drive system. So there's no worrying about shifting into four high, four low. It's gonna do it automatically for you. So uh, real nice in how that all works. Some other uh, technology you might think about that this vehicle is gonna have. One is advanced track uh, with roll stability control that includes curve control as well. So advanced track uses a series of brakes around the vehicle to keep you on your intended path especially if you're one of those curves a little too fast, slick driving days, that kind of thing. It'll help you uh, control that and keep you on your intended path using the curve control hand in hand with the advanced track system. Uh, so real nice and how that works. Also, this will come with a nine, uh, will come with a hill start assist. So that comes in real handy. So allows you to be able to, if you're on a hill, if you transition from the brake to the gas uh, easily, uh, so you'll have that hill start assist get, uh, get you going there. Also, will come with the e-pass, electronic power assist steering. Uh, and that's just real nice because where you're going to see that effect is uh, going high speeds and low speeds. So if you're up there on the highway, uh, it's going to stiffen that up. So that way that wind doesn't push it from side to side and you're not correcting the wheel constantly. Also, in those parking lots, when it's going to make it a little bit easier for you to turn that steering wheel and you'll be able to turn it uh, into those parking spaces real easily that way. This also does have torque vectoring control. So it'll help you, have, uh, especially those front wheel drives, taking off from a stop, uh, you'll have that torque vectoring control that will help keep you uh, going in your path there. Also, some of the safety features we want to talk about. This does have 911 assist. Uh, so if you uh, Bluetooth your phone in, you can call 911 directly if you get in that accident. Also, it has SOS post-crash alert system. So if you're in an accident, severe accident, honk the horns, flash the light so people know that you're off the side of the road and you need some help there. Also, part of the Copilot 360 features, you do have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, which means if you're you know, coming up and there's someone going much slower than you or maybe they're stopped and you're not paying attention, it'll let you know, it'll warn you. Uh, the, there's someone in front of you puts a message on the, on the instrument, cluster, uh, instrument cluster there that you need to stop, and if you don't, it initiates the emergency uh, braking system, so the automatic braking system, I should say. Uh, so I hope you uh, lessen that severity of that accident, maybe even avoid it altogether. Also, if you do get an accident, maybe you're unconscious, post-collision braking will come in handy because what it'll do is it'll go ahead and brake your vehicle on post-collision so that way you don't go wandering off into more traffic and get an even more severe accident. So some great mechanical features there I think you needed to know about. But let's go ahead and move this uh, turntable around here. Let's uh, show you the front of the vehicle and talk about some of the exterior features. Now moving to the front up here, you're going to see the grill. Uh, it is the, the pretty much the same grill as you get, see with the SEL trim. So you're going to see the chrome bars through here and the chrome surround with the gray inserts inside there. Body colored bumpers throughout here. You will see front sensing system here on the front of the vehicle. So you will get front sensing 
on the uh, titanium trim. Also, you're going to get active grill shutters. So those grill shutters will open and close. Uh, you don't have to do anything on your, hand, your end. Uh, when you're going faster, it closes those up, so that way it can make it more aerodynamic. Opens it up when you go a little bit slower in the city, uh, allowing more airflow in to help the 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine perform a little bit better here. Also down here in the lower part, you're gonna see that black molded into the material there. So that's a little bit more durable than chipping any kind of paint on any colored bumper. And then you're gonna see the silver uh, skid plate down there as well on the bottom. This one does have a front license plate bracket. It is actually standard equipment on states that require a front license plate. States that do not require it, like Kansas, it's actually an optional equipment. We'll talk, we'll include that into optional equipment later in the video here. Let's talk about your uh, lights here for a second. All LEDs here on the front. So LED, low beam, high beam, headlights, also automatic feature too. So it'll come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light if you have an auto setting. Also configurable daytime running lights. LED signature lighting, that light that comes up and around the headlights there, over the top of them and around towards the outside so those look real sharp on the vehicle also you're going to get led fog lights down here as well and then right here in this housing you will see uh, kind of that the high gloss black piece here with the chrome accent right there as well so great look to the uh, the front of it also you're going to get auto high beam standard equipment as well part of the copilot 360 features uh, so auto high beams when it's really dark in a dark alley or on the highway nobody's approaching you those auto high beams can come on someone approaches you or if you're in the city lights they're going to shut off so that is a actually a feature you can activate and deactivate in the lighting section of your settings so showing you a clip there where you can find that under vehicle uh, lighting and then you can just uncheck that box if that's something you don't like some people don't like that especially if they come around a corner or something and their high beams are on and then all of a sudden they turn off it freaks people out a little bit so if that's something you don't like you can deactivate that feature now moving over here to the side let's talk about the windshield for a second this does have the laminated uh, glass here or the windshield and that's basically two pieces of glass with plastic in between and that's really to make it a little bit quieter especially on the highway uh, so that just keeps it a little bit quieter inside the vehicle. Also, you do have the rain sensing wipers, standard equipment on the titanium trim, uh, which means if you have one of those intermittent settings for your wiper setting, then it's going to go ahead and turn those wipers on. Uh, of course, if it starts to rain a little bit faster, they're going to wipe a little bit faster too. So it does have a sensor up here in the windshield. Uh, so it depends on where it's raining on the windshield. Uh, that's where it's going to activate that. So this is a feature actually some people do and don't like. So it just depends on your uh, preference there. But again, this is something you can deactivate if you don't like this feature in the wiper section of the vehicle settings as you're seeing there with that clip right there. Uh, so real nice having that. So I'm going to show you a clip of a, the, uh, the standard wheel because the standard wheel is a 19 inch luster nickel painted alloy wheel. A little different than this wheel here. This is an optional wheel we'll talk about later. Uh, you also get all season tires, standard equipment on uh, the vehicles with the tire pressure monitoring system for all four of those uh, wheels. Also, just like the SEL trim, you'll have the four wheel vented disc brakes on the vehicle too. And then let's talk about some of these mirror features. You will have body colored mirror feature, uh, or body colored uh, mirror cap, I should say. Uh, in this case, it's a carbonized gray. You will see molded in black on the bottom part because that will, that's where the rocks will kind of typically hit those mirrors on the bottom part. So it's dresses up a little bit on the top part of that. You will also have, you'll notice the LED turn signal indicators here on the outside. So that's something you upgrade when you go from SEL to titanium. Also, your, another upgrade is the, the LED security approach lamps. So as you approach the vehicle, uh, you use the key fob to unlock the vehicle, then it's gonna go ahead and light the ground beside the vehicle or when you use intelligent access, which we're gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. Power heated glass as well, so it'll heat, heat that glass along with your defrost. So anytime you defrost it on, it's gonna defrost the mirrors as well. And as part of the Copilot 360, we're gonna have the Bliss, the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. The way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in those little two cars on the corner of the mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path behind you. It's going to let you know by doing the same thing. If they're coming from the left side, it'll put a little light in that left mirror. Also puts a message on the dash telling if they're coming from the left or the right. And then a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So love the cross traffic alert. Saved me a couple of times at some grocery stores there. Uh, so it's a great system there. Also, check out the, uh, the appearance here on the side. You will see the chrome accent on the belt line as well as around the windows, just like with the SEL trim. Privacy glass in these back windows and back glass. Also, the door handles are body colored. Now, with the titanium trim, you're going to see the chrome accent throughout the middle. Give a little bit more luxury look there. 
And then the bottom part is still going to be that black molded in applique and the lower cladding. And that's just to protect that from rock chips and such. Just like I mentioned in the SEL video, uh, you know, SUVs sit a little higher, those rocks will kick up, especially if you don't have mud flaps. And then they're going to have, they're going to get all, all, you know, chipped up and everything. You'll have to have the body uh, repainted. This is going to be a little bit more durable for you. You do have intelligent access, so I can have that key fob here, which by the way, when you go to titanium, you do get remote start on the remote itself. So that way you can remote start if you're close enough proximity. It does have the key inside, so for some reason the vehicle dies uh, and the battery's dead, of course, it won't unlock with this remote or with intelligent access. So you would just use this key to go under here, pop this cap off on the end, and you can get, ex then you expose that the key lock and then you can use that to get in the vehicle unlocking the vehicle that way so you can just use that and then also because of that just leave this in your pocket it's called intelligent access so i don't have to get the keys out to get in the vehicle you just press, put the uh, hands in the door handle there with a key fob on you it's going to unlock the vehicle allow you to get access inside the vehicle uh, even has push button start we'll get into a little bit about that when we get inside uh, but it's great just press the ridges when you get out it's going to lock the vehicle up and this does have the invisible keypad entry as well. So keyless entry keypad. So benefit of that is if you don't have the key fob maybe on you, but you need to grab something out of the vehicle. I've had that happen before. You can press your own code in there. You can personalize it. And then you can go ahead and get unlock, unlock the vehicle. Or if you want to leave the keys inside, go for a jog or something. If you're at a park, you could do that and not have to carry your key. You can uh, then lock it using the keypad to get in and out of the vehicle that way. Uh, also on this, you will have on these back doors, you will have the child safety locks. Uh, important uh, feature, especially if you have kids in the back, uh, you don't want them to open the doors, especially if they're not, you know, they're big enough to not be in the car seats. Uh, they might be trying to open those doors. You can uh, lock out those, those rear doors with those child safety locks. Also uh, this year, they did uh, upgrade the fuel cap here because that way you know where to push. Uh, because this is, you know, kind of the way the design looks like, you're not sure if you should uh, press on this side or this side so they made a little round spot back here just press it opens the door up no cap to worry about so it's the the easy fuel capless filler door so no cap to lose get hands dirty maybe scratch up the side of it with it hanging down so just fill it up it is a double door system so you don't have to worry about people trying to get your gas um, and in fact that second one is the exact size that you'd have at the nozzle at the pumps uh, it is not the size you get from those gas cans. Uh, so you will need an extra funnel that comes inside if you have to, to you know, fill it up if you run out of gas and that kind of thing. So instructions are on the door for that. So I think I've covered everything here on the side. Let's go ahead and move around to the back. Now as we move to the back of the vehicle, you will see a body color rear spoiler on the top with a molded in black underneath. Center high monitor stoplight is right up here so the vehicles and those trucks can see that you're wanting to brake. Rear defrost with rear wiper back here, you will see the high gloss pieces coming on both sides of the, of the glass, just like with the SEL trim. LED tail lights, to go, so full LED on the front as well as the back with the amber turn signals. Uh, you will see the upgrade uh, for the applique here for 21. So you can see now it has the forward wording in there, so it looks a little bit different here in the back. Rear view camera also has reverse sensing, so as you're backing up, you're gonna be able to see behind you. You're also gonna get alert if you get too close to anything with the reverse sensing, just like with the front sensing system. Molded in black here where you can see those sensors. Again, more durable that way. And then you will see the silver skid plate uh, here on the back of the vehicle too. Now it's painted here on these instead of being the molded in like it was with the SEL trim. Dual exhaust, uh, SEL actually had dual exhaust. I didn't mention that video because they kind of go downwards. On the titanium trim, they come straight back and out and you have the chrome tip. So it looks so much more attractive here on the vehicle uh, with this as well. Now that key fob does help you get into the vehicle but also helps you with the foot activated hands-free lift gate. So a lot of people get confused on this. Even if uh, you were to add any kind of hitch or anything, you just do it, give it a kick in the middle and it's gonna open the door up. So straight kick back and, and up. As you can see there, even I didn't have a lot of room here, uh, but it is just a straight kick. So you don't wave it around. A lot of people think you wave it around. Even some salespeople think you wave it around. It's just a straight kick forward and back and it opens up for you pretty easily. Something people don't realize too, that you can adjust the height of this because, you know, taller, sh short, shorter people may not be able to reach this button. Uh, so you can bring this down if you want to and you can set it just by pressing and holding that button. There you go, you hear that go off. Now the next time that goes up, it's gonna stop in that position. So I'm gonna actually go all the way up so I don't hit my head and, and then set it up here uh, uh, for the rest of the video. So in here, typically we keep the carpet mats in the back and it also reminds me that this does get carpet mats in the front uh, footwells as well as the second row. They are carpeted uh, floor mats that are standard equipment. 
In here you see carpet in the flooring, carpet on those seat backs. You will see those little hooks in the back. That is that latch system. So this does have a latch system, lower anchors and tellers for children. So in the car seat itself, you're going to see harnesses where you can uh, you know, buckle in those front and rear facing uh, car seats. But if you do have a front facing one, you can bring the tether strap over and you can hook it onto the back there, keeping them secure against that seat. Uh, that's what that's going to be for. Also you see is a 60-40 split bench seat. Those seats will fold down. Uh, flat. In fact, this does have the uh, the power release back here too. Just like with the SEL trim, you have a left and a right. So you, when you press it, uh, just like with the left one, if I press it and hold it, it's going to release the seat and it's going to fall forward. So it is a, not a power seat; it's a power release. Uh, so keep that in mind on there. And then you'll have to, of course, manually put that seat back into position. And back here where, th where this release is, there is a power point back here. Uh, and then on the other side, you're going to see an LED light. So there's a cargo light in here so you can see inside just a little bit. A couple of different spots for the different cargo. You have one over there and one over here. Uh, you'll notice on this particular vehicle, there normally would be a storage over here on the right side. Uh, there's a speaker back here. So we'll talk more about that in the audio system when we get to the inside. There is some uh, little loops down here and some hooks over here. Uh, so those are just a nice, nice ways to be able to put some things in there. Uh, you can put your uh, sacks back here from groceries if you want to, hook them on there so they won't roll around. Also, you can view, uh, we have optional cargo netting we'll talk about in the optional equipment that would use those, uh, those systems there. Now underneath here, you will see this has a tire and inflator kit that is standard equipment. Uh, there is uh, optional equipment for a spare tire, so we'll talk about that when we get to optional equipment. And then you're going to see the cargo management system in here. So, Plenty of room to put some things in, blanket, uh, jumper cables, you know, all the safety things that you might need for your vehicle in case you, for some reason you run out of gas or your, you know, your battery, you know, stops or whatever. Just for safety, you can store those under here, not taking up your cargo area. And then that funnel that we talked about earlier that you would need if you run out of gas to fill it up, that is located there on that left side. So I think I've covered everything in the rear cargo area. Uh, so let's go ahead and move inside. A lot of features to kind of talk to you about on the titanium trim on the inside of the vehicle. Now moving to the end here, this does have some, uh, of course, I want to first talk about the airbag system. So it does have dual stage front airbags, so the driver and front passenger has a dual stage airbag. That means it's going to deploy a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Also, you're going to have a driver knee airbag and a glove box integrated airbag for the passenger over there to protect the knees from those front collisions. You're going to see side impact airbags on the side of those seats, so it's going to deploy those airbags on the side of the seat. So if you get that side impact collision, it deploy those airbags for those uh, the driver and front passenger. Also, safety cane up airbag. That's going to deploy down from the roof line. Uh, it does have rollover sensor there to activate those. So if the vehicle is going to roll over, it's going to deploy those to hopefully protect from breaking glass on those windows as it goes over and just protect those occupants from uh, the roof and the side of the vehicle though. Uh, so real nice airbag system. So this does have a dedicated interior trim. You can get either the ebony interior or you can get the soft ceramic, just like with the SEL trim. So you're going to see that black environment and black seats for the ebony vehicles. And then you can have that soft ceramic interior. It looks a little different than the Dune. Uh, so you're going to see that the look there. Um, I don't have a vehicle, uh, a titanium with that, but I believe the inserts are going to be a different color as well as the seats will be uh, that soft ceramic as well. I think even with this ebony, you're going to see the soft ceramic look on the roof as well in here. So it just kind of adds some those seats and the inserts and doors to kind of blend the black, the ebony with the soft ceramic. So a couple different color options for you. Either way you go, you're going to have your leather seating surfaces in here. So these are the sport contoured leather seats. So it kind of comes up and protects those in the bolsters there a little bit. So you're going to have those. You're going to have heated seat for the driver and front passenger standard equipment as part of the titanium trim. Uh, so you're going to get a 10-way power and front passenger uh, power seat. So not only the seat cushion, the uh, power recline and power lumbar for the driver in the front passenger. Second row, 60-40 split bench seat back there. So you do have an armrest that comes out of the middle backrest. As we mentioned, you'll have vents back here in the back of the console as well as underneath the, on the floor. And you're going to see back there, you're going to have a 110 outlet standard equipment as well as you're going to have a USB type C and USB type A. So three different ways to power devices behind the console back there. Uh, also here on the door, you're going to have the power windows, locks, and mirror switches. Uh, auto one touch for those front windows. So that means you just uh, uh, press it hard down and it's going to roll those windows down and you pull it up once 
it's going to go ahead and roll them up. So you do have to not, you do have to pull it all the way back. Uh, so a hard, I call it a hard press uh, for those front windows, and it'll do that automatically. Also, you have the global open close windows. So what's really cool about this uh, is there is that if you press. Uh, the unlock once and press and hold it uh, for several seconds and once you know that your intention is to roll down the windows it's going to roll down all the windows allow for the heat to get out of the vehicle so as you're approaching the vehicle if it's on a really hot day or something you know it's going to be hot inside the vehicle you can open those they're called open uh, global open windows uh, so you can that is a feature you can activate and deactivate because some people sometimes accidentally hit those uh, and get things pressed against them and their purse or their pocket uh, so you can deactivate that feature uh, through the your settings screen right there also you're gonna have driver memory for three different drivers that's gonna memorize the seat position also gonna memorize the mirror position for you so that way uh, you know different drivers get in the vehicle you can automatically uh, position those seats uh, to those positions you will have a leather wrap heated steering wheel standard equipment on these you will have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel so you just pull this lever underneath here it goes up and down forward and back so you get it just right so I always tell people adjust that seat just right and then go ahead and get the steering wheel where it works for your arm length uh, so everybody's made a little bit differently so having those two adjustments makes it real nice and easy for you let's talk about the levers back here the one here on the left of course go up and down is your turn signal uh, but there on the end you'll see there's a button over there that is the lane keeping system so that's where you activate and deactivate lane keeping and what lane keeping system is part of the Copilot 360 features uh, and it helps you you know uh, keep you in your middle of your lane so it has a driver alert feature to go along with it but also a lane keeping aid system or alert system the alert system that's going to allow you to leave your lane but what it's going to do is when you leave your lane it's going to vibrate the steering wheel let you know you've left your lane a lot of other automotive uh, companies out there have that same technology but different on force technologies they have an aid system as well so that helps you not go over those lines but get close to those lines and bring you back into your lane so it keeps you try to keep you in your lane so that's where you would activate and deactivate that the lever over here on the left side is going to be for your wipers as we mentioned up and down just like you normally expect uh, the dial over there is for the intermittent that's where your, your rain sensing wipers would need to be in one of those intermittent settings in the middle there and would activate it uh, as well as you as long as you have it in the first one up uh, then you're good to go there and then also on the end here is going to be the wiper for the rear wiper so you can uh, turn that on, that on there's two different settings for that on that rear wiper back there's an intermittent wi rear wiper as well as an on where it just uh, keeps going uh, and wiping that rear glass so that's where that's going to be located here on the steering wheel you have two different d-pads up here on there the one here on the left is going to control all your settings in the dual 4.2 inch productivity screens so actually i have a video on this uh, this productivity screen if you want to check out our how-to videos on our website as you can tell i have a lot of videos on these different features and how to use these features uh, on our youtube channel so check that out uh, so that's where the d-pad will control the left one this right d-pad of course would control the right uh, product, uh, four inch uh, screen there 4.2 inch uh, LCD screen the right features are usually your Microsoft features so your phone your radio those kind of features over there you control with the right d-pad these two buttons under there on both the left side the left side is going to be your cruise control and this one looks a little different we'll talk about some of the features that's included on this one here as part of the adaptive cruise control uh, but your cruise control settings are on the left side the right side is going to be your bluetooth and radio controls uh, so as you can see there's some volume controls there there's a mute there there's also a little speaker button that's where you press if you want to control the bluetooth connectivities and be able to uh, do some things with the uh, screen as well as your presettings for your radio are going to be on those buttons right there. So push button starts located just to the right of the steering wheel. Of course, don't forget to press that brake. For some reason, a lot of people like to uh, forget to press the brake when they uh, hit that button. So don't have to get the keys out to get in the vehicle or to start the vehicle, which makes it real nice and convenient there for you. You'll notice this uh, center stack is new for 21. So we do have a little bit different look. You will have AM, FM. Actually, when you go up to Titanium, you get the Beano audio sound system. Now it comes 12 speakers. HD radio, Sirius XM satellite radio, and that new 360L standard equipment on this. Uh, of course, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay is going to be included in this. Uh, so some great audio uh, features here. You will get the new 12-inch center stack with the Sync 4A. We see that on the Mach-E uh, for 21. So those, those are the only two vehicles. We see that for the 21 model year so far. And so it does have the uh, nice portrait style screen here. Lower part of that is where you're going to see is your climate control. So touch sensitive there for those controls. 
being able to control things and then the upper part is going to be the different features you have whether it be a radio phone uh, navigation uh, as well uh, right through there if you have that the navigate optional navigation uh, so all those uh, throughout that screen right there so real nice and how that use you do have some buttons down here basically some audio control buttons right there your uh, defrost your camera button uh, uh, hazard all those are still going to be on the hard buttons here on the bottom part of this panel up here you still have the little cargo and little uh, mat up there a lot of people like that they took away the door but you uh, can't remember if they did that last year or not but you do have this nice little opening up there a lot of people like that on the edge so they've kept that because uh, they have listened to your feedback on that on the mirror you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror which means if cars come up behind you with those bright lights it's going to automatically dim the mirror you don't have a lever to worry about switching uh, to go from day, day night it's going to automatically dim that mirror Overhead console will include a sunglass bin, so you just pop that open, put sunglasses in there, store those away pretty easily right there. You do have the button switches for your lights in here, uh, right, real easy to get to in front of that. You will have the universal garage opener on the visor, so three different buttons there. You can anything with the transmitter. Garage doors, if you have dual garage doors or you have maybe even a gate if you live on a farm, you can program anything with a transmitter into those buttons right there using the universal garage door opener. Forgot to mention, on your sync 4a you know talking about that there is a digital owner's manual is standard equipment now on these uh, the sync 4a uh, so you can see the digital owner's manual going there and you can learn actually how to program those uh, switches uh, for the system just by searching for that in the digital owner's manual also you get personal profiles in that too so how you like your temperature your climate and that stuff can be uh, programmed for each of your key fobs uh, when you get in the vehicle it automatically is going to set the climate and the radio station to where you had them or you wanted them programmed to so you can set up personal profiles forgot to mention that when we talked about that also you can see the media hub now is new for this year there's no door to worry about so it's just a nice open compartment with a usb type c and a usb type a right there also wireless charging pads standard equipment on the titanium trim so just put the phone in there it'll charge while you're going driving along not shouldn't have the phone out anyway you can use Bluetooth for everything right there, real easy to use, and then, then it's charging your phone on to your destination there. Also, you still have this little compartment here to put some small stuff. You do have a PowerPoint on the, the passenger side over there, so if they want to plug in, a device, uh, you know, plug in their chargers, they can do that using those traditional PowerPoints down there. And then here in the, uh, the console area, you do have the rotary uh, gear shift uh, dial there so real nice just like we've seen for several years parking brake is right behind that that's what that P is uh, is your parking brake it's located here not down here in the, in the footwell anymore uh, auto start stop deactivation button is right there uh, and this one actually uh, has the this is where you would shut off the reverse sensing system so if you want to shut that off you would just press that button right there you will see the cup holders here ambient lighting in the cup holders so this does have a standard equipment ambient lighting lights up the foot wells and the uh, the cup holders here as well as the rear foot wells uh, as well right there nice little compartment in here and you do have a pad and armrest here. Open that up. You do have a console, of course. Now you can pull out. This have a shallow tray that you can put small stuffs in. You can see there's open slots on both sides, and that's for cords to come out because there is another power point in here. So plenty of ways to power devices. What two power points we've talked about? Two USB Type A's, two USB Type C's, and a 110 outlet. Plenty of ways to power different devices in this vehicle. Uh, real nice and easy to use there. Also, this does have, I forgot to mention, its own uh, uh, door sill plates that you're getting in. So you'll not notice those getting in the vehicle on this, these titaniums. And this does have the Ford Pass Connect. Ford Pass Connect allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. You can unlock and lock your vehicle. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere. You can even schedule remote start times. Find your vehicle in those busy parking lots that you forgot at the game or the airport or wherever uh, you can locate your vehicle so great things also it gives you all those different alerts if you need uh, oil changes and service you can see that through the Ford Pass app and that's where you're going to find your rewards points so you definitely want to make sure you connect your vehicle to the Ford Pass app so you can get the benefit and see those points racking up for service for accessories and that kind of stuff so you can spend those reward points like you would at Starbucks as you get more and more things at Starbucks you get free coffee same way with Ford they're doing the same thing with the Ford Pass Connect. You're going to get like 12,000 points to start with, which should be enough for two free oil changes at your local Ford dealer. 
Now we're going to talk about an equipment group you can get. We've talked about the standard equipment. That's all part of the 300A is what they call that, the standard package. Uh, but you can't get a Lux package is what they're calling it. They're calling a package, but it really it's the equipment group. It's the 301A equipment group. When you're looking on the Ford build and price, you're going to find it there on those in the packages section, uh, 301A. There are some uh, different packages we're going to talk about a little bit later that require this package to get that package. So let's talk about this. Uh, this package includes several features, a bunch of features actually, eight features, plus also includes a package that is available uh, that's part of this equipment group that's also available on the 300A. So let's talk about all these features. First on the outside, you're going to get the enhanced active park assist. Uh, now that one does the parallel parking, does reverse perpendicular parking, even does the park out. The Edge was one of the first vehicles in 2016 to get this system uh, and it's still carried over into the Ford Edge now. In fact, just recently I did a how-to video on this system uh, and I, I did it back in 2016 but also revamped it for our Tech Tuesday that we do every Tuesday. Uh, so you can check that video out. It should be one of the most recent videos that we've done there on our YouTube channel. Uh, so it's a great system. Also, you're going to get the 180 degree camera there on the front. So that way you can see completely in front. Uh, so real nice 180 degrees on the front of the vehicle. It's going to come with a washer as well uh, there on the front of the vehicle. Also, you're going to get the adaptive LED headlights. Adaptive means that it's going to adapt to your steering wheel. So when you turn into the curve, it's going to turn those headlights so you can see in those curves. So uh, real nice. Also, you're going to get with that the LED amber uh, blade turn signals as well. So instead of those halogen amber lights, you're going to now get LEDs for those as well there. Also, this mirror. Driver's side view mirror is going to be auto dimming. Uh, so auto dimming means if those cars come behind you on those other lanes with those bright lights, it's going to automatically dim that mirror so you don't, they're not going to blind you uh, with that feature there. So that's a, a nice upgrade on the outside. So four features on the inside I want to talk about as well as part of this equipment group or this package and that is going to be the perforations in the leather seats. Uh, so you're going to get the inserts, those perforated inserts, because this is going to get upgraded with cooled seats as well. So the other feature on the inside, you're going to get cooled front seats to go along with the heated front seats that's standard equipment on the vehicle. And even in the rear seat, you're going to now get heated seat in the rear seat as well as part of this equipment group. And then your steering wheel is going to be now a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel included with your memory features as well. Uh, so that's going to uh, memorize the position of that. So now it goes up and down forward back electronically instead of having to do it manually and getting it just right. So some uh, eight great features already, but also as part of this uh, equipment group, you're going to get a package as well. So the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package is going to be included in the 301A equipment group, but is also optional on the 300A. So let's talk about the features included in this. It is going to give you your adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. So adaptive cruise means if there's someone going much slower than you, it's going to slow you down to go their speed until you, uh, you pass them or it's safe for you to resume and then speed you back up. So even will bring you to complete stop. That's what stop and go means uh, if you're in those really rush type traffic you don't have to use your brake all the time uh, so it includes a stop and go and lane centering a little bit different than we talked about lane keeping being standard equipment but lane centering is actually seeing those lines but it's keeping you away from those lines so it's keeping you in the center of your lane so it, it's able to gauge those line distances to keep you in the center of your lane and that is activated when you have the cruise control on uh, so it is a little bit different than lane keeping, which can be activated even when you don't have your cruise on. So uh, you can use those hand in hand uh, with this. Also, you can get evasive steering assist, which means if you can't avoid that accident, you need to steer away to get uh, to do that. It's going to help you make it a little bit easier to, to steer that vehicle and evade that accident. And so evasive steering assist is another feature you can activate and deactivate in your settings uh, there on the screen as you're seeing with that because this vehicle does actually have this package on it. So I was able to demonstrate with this uh, vehicle here. Also, it's gonna give you the connected built-in navigation. So longer term of navigation. So you're gonna have that on the screen there. Uh, so you'll have that on-screen navigation. Uh, now you'll have a longer subscription, I believe. Uh, I'm putting that on the screen. I can't remember exact uh, time frame, but now instead of just being just for a couple years, now it's an extended period. So you don't have to pay for that subscription after it expires on the, uh, the, the standard navigation. So a uh, real great package. Also, again, included in the 301A equipment group, but also available on the 300A if you want to add it to that. So we talk about a package that's available on the 301A equipment group does require you to get that Lux package uh, to get this one. And that's a titanium elite package. So if you're looking at this titanium and going, 
Doesn't look that much different than the SEL. When I was looking at it first, I thought I got, I thought it was an SEL. There's a couple accents that dress it up, you know, here on the side, uh, different wheel than the than the SEL. Uh, but if you want to take it to the next level and really make it look special, you get this package and add it to it. It's really going to dress it up. So what it's going to do, I'm going to have to give you some clips from Ford's website because we don't have a vehicle in with this package on it right now. Uh, your bumpers are going to be upgraded. So where that molded in black is, you're going to now get body colored uh, lower bumpers on the vehicle, uh, front and back with chrome accents in there. So as you can see with those clips there, really dresses up the front and back with that. You'll notice the grill also is going to be upgraded as well, the upper grill, something special, more of just a nice chrome look uh, to that grill itself. So really dresses up the front and the back of the vehicle. Also on the side, the lower cladding molded in black is going to go to body colored now uh, with the chrome inserts. So you're going to get the little uh, accent in there as well. So a nice great look on the side. Plus upgraded to a 20 inch bright chrome wheel on it as well. So really as you can tell you get this package really dresses up the outside of the vehicle with the front and back bumpers, the lower cladding, the wheels. But even on the inside if you get the ebony interior you're going to get upgraded with some inserts in the seats as well as in the doors. Brunello inserts with red stitching really dresses up the ebony interior uh, to the vehicle and whether you go with the cer soft ceramic or the ebony interior you're gonna also going to get on the, the console cover itself as well as on the, the, the instrument applique it's going to be upgraded to I think they call it a silver micro valley is the wording they use in the on the order guide so it dresses up the, those accents on the, the console as well as well as on the dash so real nice upgrades on the inside as well especially with the ebony. So you can get this with either ebony or the soft ceramic. So if you go with soft ceramic, you will not have those Brunello accents on the seats and the doors, but if you go with the ebony, you will. Now the two other packages I want to talk about, uh, first one I want to talk about is your class two trailer tow package is available in the 300 or 301A equipment group. And this is where if you want to tow something, uh, you're going to be able to, you're going to want to actually upgrade to this package. Gives you the hitch on the back, also gives you the wiring and it gives you the trailer sway control. It does require you to have the all wheel drive because it just needs that to perform and be able to tow uh, that weight that it, uh, it programs and gives you in there. Uh, but also don't forget, even with the tow hitch back here, it does not avoid or get in the way of the hands-free liftgate. Just go to the left or right of the hitch, shouldn't have any problem opening up the liftgate. Now I want to talk about another package that's available, and this is cargo accessory package. May be listed. It is a, a it's a factory installed uh, uh, you know options there for you. Uh, it includes some three great features in it. If you really plan on putting a lot of stuff in the cargo area, this would be a great package you might consider. One of them you get a bumper cover on the back, so it's going to protect that bumper, so that way if you drop things on there, it won't scratch up uh, and chip the paint on the vehicle itself. So it has the bumper cover. You're going to also get a cargo mat. This being uh, carpeted in here, it can, you know, ruin it. You can get a lot of stains and that kind of stuff. Puts an all-weather mat in there, so you can put that in there and protect the cargo area. Also, you get a retractable cargo cover. So that way, if you don't want, you know, put belongings back here, you don't want people to see them, you can get that cover in there. It does go, you can go in and out, so it's real nice and easy to be able to use. Um, put it in there, positions it. You pull it out, already has the slots for the cargo cover itself. You put it in there, so that way people can't see your belongings. And again, it's a retractable and removable uh, uh, cargo cover in there, so you can put it in the garage if you don't need it. Cargo mat, bumper cover, great little package you can add. Of course, it is available at 300 or 301A equipment group. So let's talk about some standalone options and there's about five exterior and five interior options. Uh, that's how it's easy for me to kind of memorize here for the video. But uh, here on the front, you can get the engine block heater. So if you live in a cold weather state uh, and you need to, that vehicle stay warm overnight, you want to plug it into your garage, you can get the engine block heater available in the 300 or 301A equipment group. Front license plate bracket, standard equipment on states that require front license plate. Kansas is not one of those states, does not require front tag, so it's a standalone option. And it's a no charge option, so we order on all of our vehicles, um, put them on them uh, because we do so much out of state sales, so that way we can have that front license plate bracket put on the front. Also, the optional wheel you can get a 20 inch machine faced alloy wheel with the dark premium painted pockets. This is the standard, this is the optional wheel right here. So, you want to go from 19 to 20 inch wheel, this will be the optional wheel you can go with. So, you have those two options as well as with that titanium elite package. So, there's really three different wheel that you can see on a titanium trim. Also, you can get the wheel locking lug nuts. It's actually an accessory 
available on the 300 or 301A equipment group. Also, the 20 inch wheel is uh, available on the 300 or 301A as well. Uh, but locking lug nuts, if you want to protect these twice 20 inch wheels, uh, it will replace a lug nut from each of the wheels. So it comes with four locking lug nuts. So that way, people can't really you know, pull those off unless they have that locking. Uh, design there uh, for that. So that's something can be added as an accessory afterwards. You just have to, you know, switch out each of those lug nuts yourself for those locking ones. Uh, but it's available for you as uh, either way. You can get it from the factory or you can get it afterwards uh, from your uh, dealer. Also, the roof rack side rails. You'll notice none of the edges come with them for this year. So there's a standalone option on the 300 or 301A equipment group. Comes with the side rails that are going to be painted silver for the titanium trim. So you can go with the uh, roof rack side rails. Also, uh, they are not available with the Panoramic Vista roof though. So Panoramic Vista roof is available on the 300 or 301A, not compatible with the roof rack side rails. Panoramic Vista roof gives you the power sunshade, also the, the glass that opens up. So that's an option for you. Uh, so great different option uh, for the interior that way. Also, you can get the floor liners. So floor liners go in the footwells in the front seat as well as the back, like the carpeted mats. Uh, so you can get the floor liners with the carpet mats or without. So this year they made it to where you can order the floor liners and not get the carpet mats. Save yourself some money that way if you don't plan on ever using the carpeted mats. Uh, you can order either one of those. So that's why you'll see two different ones on the build price uh, for that option. On the back of those headrests, you can get the dual headrest rear entertainment system. So it's not just DVDs anymore. You can plug in different uh, type of devices. I think even SD cards, thumb drives, that kind of stuff if you have media on them uh, and be able to play that. It comes with two different sets of headphones for that system. I think it's a $2,000 option that's available from the factory. And that's why I'd probably get them if you do that. A lot of times a dealer will install them you know, when the vehicle shows up uh, with a, someone that we have one person here that does a good job installing those. Uh, but that is something that's available for you. Cargo net. You can get a cargo net in the uh, rear cargo area. So if you want to get that, uh, put all those, you know, basketballs and different things that would normally roll around in the cargo area uh, and bother you when you're driving. You can put them in the cargo netting and it just uh, uses those, uh, those positions that I talked about earlier in the video to kind of put that in there and uh, be able to contain some of those things in the back of the area. Also a mini spare. So mini spare is available, whether it be all wheel drive or front wheel drive. So you may see two options on the building price. It just depends on what you have configured, if it's front wheel drive or all wheel drive. You get a mini spare, of course, it does replace the tire and inflator kit, uh, and it's already ready to go for that. So you can just add the mini spare. It is a standalone option this year. I think it's $400, uh, but does make you to add that as a standalone option. Available again on the 300 or 301A equipment group. I think pretty much all the options I've talked about is available on either one of your two equipment groups. So there you go. I think we've covered everything in this video, all the standard equipment, the two different equipment groups, as well as we did talk about the different packages and standalone options all in this video. You can see that's why we call it a complete guide. So hopefully you did enjoy that. Check out the timestamps down below. Move around the video if you want to recap anything and go over something else. Uh, check out those timestamps for all the different uh, packages. If you're wanting to know prices, those are down in the description as well. Uh, and as always, you can check out our website, lawmacarthur.com. Uh, there you can see all of our inventory. You can see exterior and interior pictures. You can see uh, a spin of the vehicle. You can spin that vehicle around and see what it looks like. Uh, it's pictured right here in this building where we do the videos. Uh, so definitely check that out. Also, don't forget if you have any questions, you can call the numbers that are on the screen as well. Uh, one of our coordinators can help you out. We have a very uh, qualified and trained BDC staff. Uh, the ladies there, uh, you know, I, I work with them hand in hand, so they do a great job and they have uh, been with us for years and they know a lot about the different Ford vehicles. So definitely ask them any questions you might have. And if they don't know, they'll make sure they get with me or you can go ahead and, and comment down below and uh, ask me any questions and I'll respond to those as well. I do read those comments and try to respond to those every morning uh, to uh, different questions you might have on any of our videos. So definitely leave those comments down below in the description. Uh, now let me tell you a little bit about our free shipping policy. We do ship to about anywhere for free. Uh, we do ask you to finance a vehicle with us. It's that simple. If you finance it with us, we get enough kickback from the lenders that we can usually pay for the shipping cost to ship it right to your door. So uh, if you're looking to do something like that, you can give us a call. You can contact us. Uh, we can uh, deliver about anywhere. Uh, that's why we, we deliver so many vehicles. And we, uh, you know, I mentioned the front license plate we put on every vehicle because we do a lot of out-of-state sales. So if that's something you want to do, you want to get a vehicle from a dealership that knows their product 
has vehicles built the way you want it to. Um, if you want certain options, you go to build and price, print it out and send it to us. We're gonna make sure that you get the vehicle that you're wanting uh, from a dealership that knows the product and can make sure it's uh, ordered exactly the way you want it to and shipped right to your door. Don't even guff to go into a dealership. You can work with Long MacArthur Ford and take care of everything by phone, by email, uh, and have it delivered right to your door. So take advantage of that. Again, uh, call, send us a text message. Numbers are on the screen if you want to do that. And hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, you probably like some of our other videos. So hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified the next time another video upload to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to smash the like button, share the video out. I really appreciate the love. If you want to learn more, a little bit more about Law MacArthur, you can go to one of our social media sites. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram so you can see the different specials we have going on as well as things that we do in our local community here in Salina, Kansas. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, we'll see you later.